do you know what this viral video and this viral video and all of these viral videos have in common? They were created using the best free AI video generator tool for 2025. And it's probably not the one that you think it is. Because if you think that Sora or NVIDIA are the best AI video generators for 2025, you couldn't be more wrong. There's a new tool that just got a major upgrade, which makes it the best free AI video generator for 2025. And by the end of this video, you're going to have a five-step guide for using it to create viral AI generated video. The tool is called Dream Machine by Luma Labs, and it can literally do everything. It can generate AI images, AI videos, and it can even take the images that you generate and turn those into videos themselves. So the first thing that you want to do to get started is you just want to come up to lumalabs.ai and just scroll through this site. It is literally one of the most beautiful websites I have ever seen. And in order to get started, just come up to the top and click Try Now. Then you're just going to want to sign in with either your Google account or your Apple ID. Now, before I get into the other four steps, the last one being the most important, I need to make sure you smash that subscribe button if you want to create AI generated videos in 2025. I upload videos about this all the time that you won't want to miss. So now that we're here, you can see I've already been playing around with this a little bit. And I want to show you how you can start off simply by creating a single AI image or an AI video. So if you come to the left here, this is your gallery. So you can just click into this gallery and you can see I've already been testing out a lot of different styles and the results are pretty stunning. When you sign up for Dream Machine, you do get some free credits, but I always recommend starting with image generation first because that costs way less credits than just jumping straight into video. And because you can turn your images into videos, this makes sure that you're only using the credits for the things that you think are going to perform the best. And so in order to start off by generating an image, just come down to the bottom here and use like plain, natural, simple language to tell it exactly what you want to see. So I just said a hot air balloon flying over wine country. And you can come into these little toggles down here to adjust the settings. This is where you change it between image and videos, and you can even change the aspect ratio. So we're using 16 by 9 right now, which is like widescreen format, which is great for YouTube. But if you want more vertical format for like Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts, you can just come down here and change this to 9 by 16 and you can get that nice vertical format. I'm going to keep this at 16 by 9 for now, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter and send this off. And in just a couple seconds, Dream Machine creates this gorgeous image of a hot air balloon flying over wine country, just like we asked. But that's not even the coolest thing you can do. Let me show you real quick how you can modify this image to completely change it around, or you can even turn this into a video. So if you come down into these quotes where it says modify, you can change anything that you want about this image. Now I'm just gonna say change the environment to snowy mountains. Now we have a totally new image still with a hot air balloon, but instead of it flying over wine country, we're now flying over this beautiful snowy mountain range. And if you want, you can come up to these three dots and you can download this or you can delete it from your gallery. And it is literally so simple to turn this into a video. Just come down here and click make video and you can tell this what you want the camera to do or you don't have to do anything at all and you can just let Dream Machine take its best guess at it. What's also really cool is that all you have to do is type in camera and it gives you these options. So I'm just going to say camera move right. Now I'm going to send this off. And this took about 30 seconds and we have this beautiful AI generated video of this hot air balloon flying over the snowy mountain. If you want, again, you can come into Modify to change anything you want about the video, or you can extend the video to create a longer sequence. But we're really just scratching the surface of what Dream Machine can do because it actually gets so much more powerful. One last thing you can do is that you can actually upload a reference image to Dream Machine if you want to create a certain style for your AI-generated images or videos. What's really cool is that if you're already on an image and you come into this reference button down here, you could actually take this image that we're looking at and use that for a reference for any future images. So if you're trying to create an entire story, this ensures consistency across every single scene. So we would just come in here and click reference and you can see it's using this image as a reference. And we can just say an ultra wide shot of the hot air balloon flying over wine country. And now we have this really beautiful wide shot of the hot air balloon. But the next feature I want to show you is by far the best and it's where Dream Machine gets insanely powerful. If you come over to the left here and click these three cards, this is boards. And boards are basically a way for you to organize your images and your videos into a group of similar concepts or themes. And so we can just come in here and we can click the plus and we could start with the same prompt. A hot air balloon flying over wine country. And again, you can come in here and you can adjust the settings. Or if you don't want to start with images, you can start with videos. But what's really cool about this is instead of just generating one single image, this will generate a group of four images for you. So you can actually pick and choose your favorites. And then you can continue to iterate and create new variations from there. So say we like the second image, for example, which I think is really cool with all this fog in the background. And so what you can do is you can click more like this and it'll create variations based off of this image. You can even do that from these buttons here. Or you can click the download button to download any one of these images. So if I were to click more like this, you can see Dream Machine gets to work and now it's starting to create variations from the image that we like. 
And so now we have these four really cool variations of the hot air balloon over wine country. It's got the fog in the background. It's absolutely beautiful. And again, we can turn any single one of these into a video just by clicking make video. But that's actually not even my favorite feature. My favorite feature is what Dream Machine calls smart pills. And if you come up here, you can see some of the items are actually circled with these little pills. And if you click on them, you can see different variations that we can actually select to change the image completely. And so instead of a hot air balloon, we could change this to a drone, right? And instead of flying over wine country, we could change this to a tropical rainforest. And so you can see now it's generating these groups of entirely new images for us just by changing those little pills. And so now we don't have the hot air balloon anymore, but this is clearly a drone POV shot of wine country. So if we wanted, we can come in here and click make video and we can say camera push in. Or we can scroll back up to the top here. And this is why I like boards because it keeps track of the history of everything that you've created. And if we scroll to the right, now we have these drone shots of the tropical rainforest. But if we want, we can scroll back here to the pills and we can come back to our hot air balloon over the tropical rainforest. And now we'll get an image of the hot air balloon, our original subject, flying in a totally different environment. And now you see here, we have these four gorgeous images of these hot air balloons in a completely new environment. This tropical rainforest has got the fog in the background. It's really beautiful. If we don't like this, we can come into the modify button and tell it what we don't like. We can turn any of these into a video. We can use this as a reference image for further creations, or we can create more like this just to get variations off this single image that we like. And now if we scroll down, our videos are done. It creates two videos of this beautiful drone shot flying over wine country. So this is video one, and this is video two, and you can pick. You can just come up to these three dots again, and you can download this video to your computer. One other cool feature is the ability to use the built-in AI to brainstorm new ideas and new aesthetics. So just come up here and click brainstorm. And the Dream Machine AI is going to get to work analyzing the concepts, and it's going to give you some ideas for new images. You can change the color palette. It gives you some ideas for cinematic landscapes, or it gives you some ideas for completely new shots. I like this epic wide-angle push-in shot inspired by David Lean's sweeping landscape. I don't know who David Lean is, but I want to try it. And again, now we've created a new section in this board, right? But we can scroll back and we can continue to iterate off of any one of these or any one of these original images. Again, these are absolutely beautiful. But really, one of the best parts of Dream Machine is the ability to work with and collaborate with others. That's where boards get really, really powerful. So if you come up to the share button here, you can just click share and you can publish and copy this link and share this out with other people you want to work with, like your teammates. And then from there, anybody can come into this board and click this reply button. And what it's going to do, it's going to create a new branch of this series of images that they can work with so that nobody gets caught working on each other's projects. This is a great way for individuals to explore different concepts based off a similar theme. When you click reply, you're actually telling the AI to create variations off of this group of image. And so we can go back to our prompt and we can just say, add in a hot air balloon. And so this was interesting. This first set of images clearly doesn't have a hot air balloon. But what I went ahead and did is that I just changed this from a hot air balloon to a kite. Now you could see this actually did add in the kite for us into our scenes. Even though this one has a bird, this one has a kite, and this fourth image has a kite too. And so now I wonder if we come from here and we switch this back to a hot air balloon, if this new set of images will also have a hot air balloon in them like we originally intended. These AI video generators are all brand new and they're clearly going to get so much better over the next year. So now here we're back to our hot air balloon that we liked in the beginning. We have a totally separate branch of our group of images that a teammate or a collaborator could use and we can go ahead and create any sort of video from here. So I really like this image. I wanna turn this into a video. I'm just gonna click make video and I'm just gonna say fast camera, pull out and send this off. Now we have this gorgeous AI video generated shot of this hot air balloon flying over wine country. If you want, we can come back. We could start a completely new board. We could say something like Cleopatra standing in front of the pyramids in Egypt. Now we have this image of Cleopatra in front of the pyramids in Egypt. And you can see how we can turn these into one of those viral faceless video channels really, really easily. I'm not even going to put a prompt in. I'm just going to send this off to Dream Machine to turn this into a video and see what it comes up with. Now we have this awesome animated AI video of Cleopatra in front of the pyramids. The last thing I want to show you is the pricing. There's a free tier, which is great. It allows you to generate a handful of images and even videos absolutely free. The next plan up is only $10 a month, and it really allows you to generate a ton of images and videos for only $10. Now, just creating videos with AI isn't enough. You should also watch this video that shows you how I created a viral YouTube strategy with AI in under 30 minutes. I'll see you over there.